I'm here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 3 Lesson 13 homework. So let's get started. Alright, so solve using the RDW process. That's the read, draw, and write. So number one, we have a pair of jeans costs $89. A jean jacket costs twice as much. What is the total cost of a jean jacket and four pairs of jeans? Alright, so let's see. Let's draw a tape diagram. So let's label J for jeans. A pair of jeans cost $89. $89. But a jean jacket, let's see, you can label it JJ <laughs> for jean jacket, cost $89, but it says twice as much, so it's 89 two times. Now, what's the total cost of a jean jacket and four pairs of jeans? So, let's first find out how much a jean jacket costs. So, jean jacket, a jean jacket is twice as much as the cost of one pair of jeans. So, that's 89 times 2. 9 times 2 is 18. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 1 is 17. So, 89 times um, 2 is 178. So that much is 178. Now let's add on to our diagram. It says what's the cost of a jean jacket and four pairs of jeans? So one, two, three, four. This is basically what we're trying to figure out. One jean jacket and one, two, three, four pairs of jeans. So let's see, we already found 178. So I think we can just do 89 times 4, 9 times 4 is 36, 8 times 4 is 32, plus 3 is 35. So, 4 pairs of jeans is $356. Now, 356 and add on the price of that jean jacket. 6 plus 8 is 14. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So, 534. I think we could have definitely two five six. We could have you guys could have done just six of eighty nine, but here I just did, I just chose to do it this way to show the steps, like how we did it. Okay, so box our answer. So let's see. The total cost of a jean jacket and four pairs of jeans is $534. All right, and number two, Sarah bought a shirt on sale for $35. The original price of the shirt was three times that amount. Sarah also bought a pair of shoes on sale for $28. The original price of the shoes was five times that amount. Together, how much money did the shirt and shoes cost before they were on sale? All right, so the shirt, no, I'm just gonna write it out. Shirt for $35. But the original price was three times that amount. So it's 35 three times. And then for the shoes, the shoes, she bought it for 28. But the original price was five times that amount. So five times 28. Two, three. So we want to find out how much money did it cost altogether, the original price. Well, let's start by finding out the original price of the shirt. So we have 35 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. So our answer is 105. So you can just write, make a little note of that. 
And now for the shoes, 28 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 4 is 14. So our answer is 140 for the shoes. So now let's add 105 plus 140. 5 plus 0 is 5, 0 plus 4 is 4, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So our answer is 245. That means the shirt and the shoes cost costed $245 before the sale. Alright, next page. Number three. All 3,000 seats in a theater are being replaced. So far, five sections of 136 seats and a sixth section containing 348 seats have been replaced. How many more seats do they still have to replace? I right, said so the total, we can do T for total amount of seats is 3,000. 3,000 seats we need to replace. But so far, let's see, just write S for the seats so far. There's five sections containing 136 seats each. So one, that's really ugly. You know what, to make this look more, to make this look more. I don't know, it's kind of anyways, it's okay. All right, so five sections of 136 and a sixth section containing 348. So how many more seats do I still need to replace? Oh yeah, yeah let's extend this just a bit more. So how many seats do you have to replace? Let's first find the five sections. 136 times five. Six times five is 30. Three times five is 15 plus three is 18. And one times five is five plus one is six. All right. So our answer is 680 for the five sections plus that six section 348. So 680 plus 348, 0 plus 8 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, and 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. So 1,028 seats have been replaced so far. But how many seats are left? 3,000 minus 1,028, 0 minus 8, let's borrow 10. 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 0 is 9, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So our answer is 1,972. That means they still need to replace 1,972 seats. All right, number four, Computer Depot. Sold 762 reams of paper. Paper Palace sold three times as much paper as Computer Depot and 143 reams more than Office Supply Central. How many reams of paper were sold by all three stores combined? So C for Computer Depot, they sold 762 reams. Paper Palace, P for Paper Palace, sold three times as much. So 762 three times. But um, Office Supply Central, O oh, to stand for Office Supply Central, they sold, so Computer Depot 
no, P Perry Palace sold three times as much as Capri Depot and 143 rooms more than Office Supply Central. Which means Office Supply Central sold 143 rooms less than Paper Palace. So they have like, let's say this much and minus that 143. But we want to find out how much paper all three of them sold all together. Let's start by finding out Paper Palace. So three times as much as Computer Depot has 762 times three. Two times three is six. Six times three is 18. Seven times three is 21 plus one is 22. So 2,286. But now, okay, let's make a note. 2,286. Let's let's find um Office Supply Central. So they sold 143 reams less than um 2,286 because that's how much Paper Palace sold. So 2,286 minus 143. Six minus three is three. A minus four is four. Two minus one is one, and two is just two. So our answer is one two thousand one hundred um forty three for office supplies in general. Actually, that's not But it, <coughs> sorry. But it does ask how much paper they sold together. So now we add. We have 2,286 plus 2,143 and Computer Depot 762. Add it all up. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 6 is 18 plus 1 is 19. 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 7 is 10 plus 1 is 11. And 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So 5,191. That means 5,191 reams of paper were sold by all three stores. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.